solid axle swapping a full-size Chevy or GM. You know, here at Tahoe Overland, we hate hanging link mounts below the frame level. We like ground clearance and breakover angle. Let's talk about why the GM crossmember from Tahoe Overlanding is built the way it is. Having the crossmember moved forward and holes drilled in here and attaching this to the crossmember. And instead of having your radius arm mounts, you know, up underneath, you know, does that make sense? Having it pushed back like this affords a couple of things. First things first, when you put your yoke on for your slip yoke eliminator for your uh, front drive shaft, it gets the drive shaft well clear of the cross member. If that cross member was moved this much further forward, when that drive shaft tries to droop out, sometimes it actually might interfere. Then you have to like start cutting the drive, cutting the uh, cross member and putting reliefs and things, introducing weakness. This clears. Things would end up short because they would be further forward as well. And you do want your radius arm mounts to be closer to the center of the U joint, the center of the double carden joint on your drive shaft. So going backward with your link mounts is also more ideal. And third, that allows the link mounts to be further back and on the front of the cross member instead of hanging below. You know, here at Tahoe Overlanding, we hate hanging link mounts below the frame level. We like ground clearance and breakover angle, and we like, um, you know, not having your links hanging down and get bashed and hung up on things. TahoeOverlanding.com.